Images. Thank you very much. Have a seat. Images. I mean, what is a website if it doesn't have images? So the tag that we're going to use to add an image to our web page is image, I-M-G. I don't have to close the image because it just, like a line break, give me an image here, right here. Like a horizontal rule, just put one here. The image tag, just put one here. I don't have to close an image tag. If you imagine, there's obviously an attribute of the image tag that allows me to tell it what the image is. That attribute is source, S-R-C. Source equals... I'm going to do the same thing with href. I'm going to say source equals src equals. I'm going to put the quotes. And then once again, if the image is in the exact same place as my web page, I just need to give the image name. If the image is somewhere else, I would have to give the entire path to it. But if the image is sitting in the same folder, the same place, the same directory as my web page, all I have to do is call it by name. Well, let me go back to my home page or to my uh Desktop. I don't have any images here. To the best of my knowledge, I have no images here, which means that I'm going to have to find an image. And there is no greater image, no greater image in the world than Pooh Bear. <clears throat> so we're going to see if we can find an image of Pooh Bear. And there is the bear. Oh, my gosh. This is cute. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to save this image as. I'm going to put it on my desktop because, well, that's where my source file is. And I'm going to change the name because, wow, that's an amazing name. I'm going to leave the .jpg and I'm going to give it a name, The Bear. The Bear.jpg. At this point in time, I'm just going to copy the entire name, letter for letter, word for word, including the file name extension. I'm going to put it on my desktop under The Bear. I'm going to save it. We'll even make sure that it is on my desktop. Where's my bear? Where, where, where? Well, there he is. I can't really see him. I'm going to go and I'm going to paste the name of my file, the bear. If I did it right, when I refresh my browser, we should have a bear. <laughs> letter for letter, word for word, file name extension. If it's not working, either the picture is not where it's expecting it to be or it's not the right name. Now I have an image. We have two and a half minutes left in class, and there's one additional thing that I really need to tell you about. Seriously, I need to tell you about this. And I love my, I love my um, website, or my, I do have a website, because I have two web pages <laughs> and a hyperlink between them. But I have, it seems to be plain. Okay, the bear is really, really dressing things up a lot, seriously. But it's still just a whole bunch of black text with a white background. That's kind of plain, right? Kind of plain. So what I would really like to be able to do is have like color the background. I would like to have a colored background because so what I really need to be able to do is attack, a, affect the background color of the body. What tag do you think that I'm going to use to affect the background color of the body of my web page? What is the tag that I would use? Body! But I happen to have a body tag, right? I already have one. Way up there at the top, there is already a body tag, which tells me the body tag must have attributes. So I'm going to come all the way up here to the top where I find my body tag all the way up here. I'm pretty sure that there must be attributes to my body tag. And one of the attributes is going to allow me to change the background color. If I say... Um, BG, BG color, BG color equals, okay, pink. Because who doesn't want your background color to be pink? Alt F S. Refresh my browser and I should have a pink background. Another one of the attributes is the color of the text. If I say text equals, well, if we have a pink background, we should definitely have a green text. Pink background and green text, with the exception of anything that I have forced to a color. There you go. There's my colors. There's my colors. There's one other thing that I could put in the background besides pretty print. Well, let me rephrase that. There's dozens of things, attributes of the body tag. But instead of just having a pretty pink background, what if I wanted an image as my background? What if I didn't just want a pink? What if I want an image as my background? Well, if you don't mind, I am going to copy and paste this so I have two of them, but I cannot have two bodies. So I'm going to comment out the first one. The reason why I'm doing that is because, you know, I just want to use it as my own reference. So I'm going to comment it out so it doesn't impact anything, 
but I want it there just so I can remember how to do background color and back and uh, the default color of the font. But what I would really like is a picture. I would like my background to be a picture. I cannot have two body tags. This is going to say background equals. That attribute is background equals. And whatever name of the picture or the image that I put inside of these parentheses is going to be the background image. I happen to have a background image called the bear. So if you don't mind, I'm going to steal the bear from here. I'm going to paste him as the image. He does, if, I, uh, if it's in the same place, the same directory, I just need the file name. If it's somewhere else, I would have to have the entire path. If I refresh my browser, are we ready? <laughs> now, the fact that it tiled the background image is because the size of the bear is not large enough. The larger the size of the picture, the less tiling. There is an optimal size so that it's just one single image. Because my JPEG is very small, it tiled it to fill the space. That is the perfect website. We have the bear in all of his bear glory. We have, I'm pretty sure, green text. Oh, no, I, t I commented out the green text, didn't I? There you go. So, well, I have held you over. Already you are too late. What I need you to do is submit your source code as um, your classwork for today. I will publish your classwork for today. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take my source code, my document, my bear, because you got to love the bear. I'm going to take all four of the files that I'm running on, put them in a zip file, and I will attach it to the classwork instruction links for your viewing, for your reference, if you care. I will attach a zip file to the instructions for the classwork for today just so you can view it later if you are so inclined.